Hello and welcome to another video. If you've clicked in this video, you might be wondering, what is Python exactly used for? Today we'll talk about why is Python increasing in popularity, which are the most common trends and applications for Python, and which companies are actually using it so you can get a grasp on its presence within the industry. But before we get into that, we must first define What is Python? According to the official site and in technical terms, Python is an interpreted, object-oriented, high-level programming language. What this means is that Python code can be written in human-readable format, and then an interpreter will be responsible to translate that code into machine instructions for the computer to understand. It also has all the benefits from an object-oriented language such as abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. And finally, it is high level. This means that rather than dealing with machine registers, memory addresses, or call stacks, Python is more concerned about concepts such as variables, data structures, loops, and other expressions. If we don't look at it from a technical point of view, its simplicity and easy syntax make it one of the best programming languages for a new developer or anyone transitioning from another language. It's open source, so it is free to use and can be distributed even for commercial use. It is cross-platform, so you can build and run Python application in Windows, Mac and Linux-based systems. Another good reason is that there is a large ecosystem of libraries and frameworks to save you time and effort. Python's community is one of the largest and people is writing and improving libraries every day so you can always import and reuse someone else's Python library and apply it to your specific task or problem. And finally, it is general purpose, meaning that it can be used for many different applications, and we'll see that just in a second. According to Stack Overflow 2019 survey, Python is one of the most loved programming languages among the developers being polled. Its adoption and usage by the community has been heavily increasing over the last few years. So now we are in a better place to answer. What is Python actually used for? Python can be used in many real-world scenarios and by a wide range of professionals. Don't just think of the typical software developer kind of guy. Python can also be used in other fields to tackle all sorts of human and business problems. For instance, Python can be used in data science, as in data analysis and data visualization, Accountants, data analysts and researchers, to name a few, can leverage Python and extract trends and patterns from data and predict future outcomes and make decisions based on that. Another trending use case is artificial intelligence and machine learning. These areas have rapidly increased in popularity in the last few years. Recent improvements in hardware and technology in general led to a computational power growth and the revolution of cloud computing also allowed existing algorithms to be applied almost anywhere. The list of applications here is also limitless. From spam detection in your inbox, to speech recognition in phones and other devices, face detection in cameras, object tracking in self-driving vehicles or surveillance, recommender systems in online stores, targeted advertising based on search history, or even chatbots. Another Python application is scripting and automation. Python is usually used to write small programs that are designed to automate simple tasks or that connect different components of your architecture together. Common use cases are moving files from one place to another or crawling and extracting data from specific websites. For instance, this can be applied to any service comparison platform. Think of a flight comparison website that collects information from different airlines and provides you the data so you can choose the best price. Another huge application is web development and server-side coding. Python-based frameworks like Django or Flask have recently become very popular for web development. They provide utilities that will make your life easier if you are developing a backend system or dealing with databases. Are these other things Python can do for you? Not even close. Python can also be used in mobile and desktop applications, game development, networking, software testing, and basically 
anything that you can think of. Given the amount of different applications, it is more than likely that many tech companies are using Python somehow. Maybe not directly a full Python based product, but definitely using it internally. Well-known tech giants have publicly stated to be using Python within their products and services. Some of them are Google, Netflix, Amazon, Spotify, or even Facebook. Whether you're an experienced developer or you're just starting your programming career, learning Python is an excellent choice that opens lots of job opportunities and a wide variety of tech roles. Python is definitely a highly paying skill to learn nowadays and its use within the industry is increasing as we speak. In fact, the Python developer average pay salary is 120k US dollars. So this might give you a good indicator of how much you can get paid by mastering this language. If you feel like embracing the developer lifestyle and you're willing to learn Python, in the video description below you'll find links to books and resources that will definitely get you started and teach you all you need to know to master this language. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications, as I will be uploading Python related content in the next few weeks. If you felt this video helpful, please support the channel, hit the like button and share it with others. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.